Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Happy Saturday. Oh, sorry, no. Happy Sunday. Today is March 10th, and welcome to my channel. I'm Sabby. I'm a single mother of four, two girls, two boys who are twins, and I'm expecting twins. Yay. Yeah, I'm actually getting excited. So today, I figured I'm going to do a breakfast. Um, use up some stuff I have. If you recall, on Friday I had food, two food pantries and I had a bunch of bacon. But I have one pack of bacon that's still left from the last food pantry. And I'm going to make some French toast. I figured it's good. The kids like it. And we haven't had French toast for a long time. Plus, I've got all that bread and what is a nice way to use up the bread and also some of those liquid eggs that we received. So let me, first I'm going to open this up and smell it. I always smell the bacon and stuff just because of, um, oh, I think it smells good. Let me just pull it out here. Yeah, it smells good. Okay. I always smell it because I, like everything else, sometimes you receive stuff that's good. But there is times when you receive meat, and even if it hasn't passed the best before date, you know, it's something's wrong. So this, yeah, this bacon's still good. This, uh, the best before date was on the 8th, so uh, that's why I just had to smell it first. But I always do it regardless, just because of past experiences. two pieces of bacon are on here. Now before I put it into the oven, um, just let me wash my hands real quick here. <clears throat> I just don't like the film that the bacon has on your hands. <clears throat> before I put the bacon into the oven, um, I'm going to make up my French toast mixture so that I can bake the French toast while I do everything. Now, if you are a subscriber to my channel, welcome. Happy Sunday to you. If you're someone new or who has come and gone or um, just by chance came by my channel, welcome. I hope you are consider subscribing, liking, and leaving comments. I really enjoy the comments. I reply back, or I try my best to reply back to all of them. If there's been the odd one I haven't, I'm sorry. Um, I really enjoy it. It's therapeutic to me to do these videos. And this um, recipe video that I'm doing today is part of the Love Food Hate Waste Food Pantry Challenge 2024 Canada. Yes, I know that was a mouthful. I will leave the link to it if you're interested in joining. People can still join. It started the last week of February, but I'm doing mine all through the month of March. Plus, I've had um, subscribers of my YouTube family ask me to do videos of how I use the food we receive from the food pantries. So I figured, hey, this is a good way so you can see what we do and how we cook and everything else. Um, if you notice the last three days, I didn't put a video up. Be, I just had a little oops and I couldn't fix it no matter what I did. So I put pictures in the community part and um, 
I made a larger batch, a little bit more than I anticipated to make, uh, spaghetti sauce with meat in it, and we ate for supper, my kids ate, the second night my kids ate, then yesterday there was just enough for a little bit, so those, so my, one of my kids just asked for ham sandwiches, another one wanted a little bit of spaghetti and ham, and the other one just wanted spaghetti, so it worked out perfect all four of my kids got what they wanted and everyone had a full tummy and is happy so I'm gonna make this now I don't have a mixing bowl itself but this will work hey it works so my French toast recipe that I use and I'm not gonna show it because what I'll do is in the community when I show my plate of food I also um, show the recipe so if you want the recipe just go there and you'll be able to check it but my french toast is eight to ten slices of bread i don't have homemade bread or the long shala bread or i call it the french bread so i'm going to use what we have because we have lots of bread um my recipe asks for six eggs i'm going to do a cup and a half of um liquid um, whole eggs from that carton we received. It asks for some cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, milk, and vanilla. So, yay! Let's try this out. So first I'm going to add in my spices. Get what I need here. Actually, I'm going to add my spices in at the end. And the only reason is I want to make sure that we don't get sent to the bottom. And let me just grab oopsie, a carton of egg mixture. Oh boy. Let's put this up here for a few minutes and then I'll fix that. Okay. There we go. Eight mixture. So I'm going to be using this because this is what we received. I do have eight cartons of eggs too, but I want to use this today for something different. I mean, I have it, so why not? So how is everyone's weekend going? I hope it's going well. Um, ours is turning out to be very rainy here. So uh, it'll be interesting how the rest of the day turns out. Okay, so that's eggs, cinnamon. Let me add the milk. The milk is a quarter cup of milk. And I can add a little bit more than a quarter cup because I use that, so I'll use about a half a cup of milk. There you go. Okay, so it says, let's pour in a little bit of vanilla since I have it. And hopefully I don't overdo it like I did the other day. There we go, just a touch of vanilla. Oh, my favorite vanilla. Okay, so we need a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a recipe that actually my mom used to make for us. Um, so... But her, and I had to cut it down, like, you know, I had, I have 18 siblings, so I had to end up cutting this down quite a bit. But that, oh, is okay. Okay, so it's a quarter of nutmeg. There we go. Um, so her recipe was like for, 
I don't know, lots. Um, I remember we did 18 eggs when I would help her making it. So this is quite a bit smaller. Okay, that's one tablespoon. How many tablespoons do I need of sugar? Three. Okay, so. And I'm using a half a teaspoon. So, let's hold on. Two, three, four. Five, six, and if you know your measurements, three teaspoon equals one tablespoon. So six half teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So, okay, so I think I did the ingredients. I did my vanilla, I did my milk, sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and eggs. So I'm gonna whisk this. Add a little bit more egg mixture to it. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more egg mixture just because um, I don't want to have to make more at the end. And I know I'll have to because I'm thinking two to three French toast for each of my kids. There. Okay, so I did two cups of liquid whole eggs. And for the bread, this is the bread I'm using because it's the bread that I received from them. And then, of course, a little pinch of salt. One, two. Okay, don't no, come. Let me just move stuff. Over. Sorry about that. Got my margarine out. Spoon. And the margarine. Okay, let's mix this up. We'll get the pan heated, and then we will bake. So first thing to do is the bacon. I'm put this on. Okay, that's on. I'm gonna take this over here. Put this. this on the highest setting. And let's see how we go about this, right? And last but not least, the plate out to put our food onto. So do you guys have a favorite French toast recipe 
or a favorite um, topping for your French toast. Um, for me, I mean, we're pretty simple. My kids are happy with uh, just some jam on it, if that's what they have. Um, okay, now I can turn this down. And let's get some French toast in here. There we go. One thing I'm hoping is I want to get um, a couple aprons. Hopefully that'll happen someday in the very, very... Ooh, it's really hot again now. I need to move that over. There we go. I want to get a couple aprons. So I'm hoping when I go to Salvation Army for the next food pantry haul that they will have some. They sometimes have them. The last couple times I went, they did not have them. So I'm really hoping this time that they actually will have them. But it's a wish. And you can always make wishes. Let them cook. So, I don't have maple syrup. I ran out, but I do have pancake syrup. So, and I have honey. Um, I used up the last of my maple syrup that I was gifted from the food pantry. And we had a big, one of those big, huge, um, I would say... It was two liters so I had four of those and um, I left out that day like I was just blessed and the lady said he, oh no I was one of the last people and she gave them to me um, so I was very very blessed with that and it lasted me I would say a year and a half so very, very fortunate, very blessed that they did that. And it's fine. You just use what you have and make the best of it. But is there any toppings that you like? I know sometimes I'll put powdered sugar on it. Sometimes I'll, uh, I'll put, um, you know, fruit on top of it. It all depends what kind of mood and stuff we're in at the same time and what we have on hand. Now I'm just looking for something specific. I cannot find it. I dill, I sorry, I dill. I still have a bag of those English muffins. Um, I'm thinking tonight I'll do another pack of bacon, or it also depends how much bacon we have left. 
so that the kids tomorrow morning can have a nice little treat breakfast and they can have um, uh, English muffins for breakfast. But we'll see how that turns out. Regardless, I can make it. It's so easy. Throw in the oven and the oven bakes it. Um, how many of you bake your bacon in the oven? Just curious. I used to fry it always on top in a frying pan and it would squirt everywhere. I haven't tried the method where you put the bacon into water and then just let it evaporate and then the bacon cooks. I just like in the oven. Bang. Anywhere from 20 to 30 or 35 maybe sometimes 40 depending on the thickness so I mean 20 to 40 minutes depending on the thickness this bacon here I put it in for 25 minutes but usually it'll take about 30 minutes depending how crispy I want it but because um, if we have enough left over for English muffins the 30 minutes is sufficient it leaves a little bit of fat on that way when you put it in the oven to melt the cheese and warm the bacon up and toast the muffins at the same time it um, crunches it up so it all depends on how crispy you want your bacon I guess but I was just curious you know and also I know some people put um, brown sugar and stuff on their um, bacon I don't but I know some people do. This bacon has a wonderful smoky flavor. It's kind of the same as the bacon that I grew up with that we would make at home. Because we used to have our own smoker. When I was a kid, my parents, and you guys remember, they were much older when they had me. But you know those really old 1940 and 50 fridges? and um, you open the door and then you had to open another little slot for uh, the ice to go into or the little freezer part and there would be another door inside the main door they had a couple of those and they converted them into smoke houses and what they weren't in use and even when they did use them they had chains all around to make sure with locks on them and these were deadbolt locks to make sure no one could chainsaw their way into it or um, um, a kid couldn't get into it to, and suffocate. They were extremely cautious about that one because tragedies happen and we don't want anything like that to happen, especially when you're out in the country. think these first four in a couple minutes here will be ready oh they're ready to look beautiful don't they and they smell wonderful absolutely smell wonderful okay so let's take these first four off Last one is thinking, I'm not going to let you guys eat me. Okay, let's do the next four. I'm probably just going to do the entire loaf. So I'm like, why not? I will make one for me, depending on how I feel. I'll be know if I'll be able to eat it or not.
Okay, so how many more do I have here? Oh, not too many more. Yeah, I'm gonna cook them all. There we go. the margin to the bottom of this one. But that's okay. Mistakes are okay to make. I'll just let them toast up. So, I was wondering how you guys liking the food challenge series so far of me using food bank food. I hope you have been enjoying it. Um, I am going to be making something a little bit different for supper tonight. I'll see how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling okay enough to do the video with it. Um, if not... Um, I'll at least send a picture of it, but I do hope that I can do the video. <coughs> It'd be wonderful to share that recipe with you as well. And regardless, even if I just show the picture, I can show you the recipe just with the picture, even if I don't do a video itself. But hopefully I'll be able to uh, do that. You know what I just thought of? I'm going to put a little bit of this margarine just on the sides here. I don't think it'll hurt any. specific um, uh, French bread recipe that you use or anything like that just kind of curious also how is your weather where you're from um, here it started raining really hard yesterday late afternoon and it's been raining non-stop it's supposed to be dry tomorrow and Tuesday but it's supposed to be pouring green again Wednesday and Thursday um, depending on how I feel will determine if I'm going out um, and where I'm going and stuff so we'll see what the weather's like in between I hope it's good enough for me to go out but cross my fingers and then we'll know Oh, this smells so good. You know what? I'm just gonna let these fry up here. It's not on, and like I said, it's not often I make this. I, in fact, um, I think I make it about every three, four months. French toast. And I don't know why it's something I don't make that often. I mean, it's easy. It's just eggs, some milk, some spices, and bread. And bang, you've got a wonderful breakfast that the kids like. Whatever's left over, you can put in the toaster, warm up for the next day's breakfast or a snack or something. So, I mean, it's not anything that's hard. It's just something I never really think of making. And like I said, my mom would make large amounts, but she'd only make this maybe twice a year, if that. I mean, I remember, 
I don't remember often she be making it. I just remember we would do 18 eggs when she did. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 18 eggs when she did do it. So I really don't know um, much else other than I just, I just never really had it that much. Also, our homemade um, potato pancakes were always made not out of hash brown, like hash brown kind of type potatoes. Um, they were always made out of leftover mashed potatoes. And then she'd add a little bit of flour to it, um, some diced onion, not much, just a teensy bit. Um, a little bit of garlic powder and cheese, a little bit of shredded cheese to it. Actually, she used Velveeta cheese and she would melt the Vel Velveeta cheese into it because she would you, put the Velveeta cheese in the night before when the potatoes were still warm from supper and then she would add all the other ingredients into it and then the flour, she would just kind of lightly flour it before put it in look like make her patties leave them overnight and the next morning use a little bit of egg mixture and then flour and then with a little bit of crumbs of some kind I'm not sure what kind of crumbs and then put one in the egg then put one patty into that and then fry them up so that was something a little bit different than the traditional potato pancakes that I always see videos of So what is everyone's favorite um, breakfast? Let's put it that way. Um, for me, I still love oatmeal. And I would put some, in my, like, and I mean plain oatmeal. And I would put, um, what's it called? Brown sugar in it with, uh, um, what's it called? Bananas. Into mine. That's like one of my favorite, favorite brown sugar recipes. So make sure this one gets browned up a little bit more. Okay. So I'm just going to put you guys on pause while I finish. Oopsie, I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to put you on pause. I still have three batches of this to do. And then the bacon will be done soon. So I just want to finish this up, bring the bacon out, and then you guys will see what I do. We'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Well, my kids wanted to eat, so I started feeding them. They've been eating French toast. This is the last three that I'm making. I made that whole um, thing of French toast. My youngest ate three pieces. The boys ate three pieces. My oldest ate four pieces. So I think that's a win. If anything's a win, that's a win. I will have... Um, 14 pieces left for later on if they want a snack later on before supper um, they can have this if they want to toast it up they'll be welcome to um, it's really up to them how they want to eat the leftovers mm. brown the last of this up to go and hopefully the bacon is done by then how many minutes is left on this start put three more minutes on there just to make sure I think they are good and done okay Hot, hot, hot. Okay. 
Check the bacon out. So just give me a moment. Um, yeah, it looks like it's done in that well. No, I'm gonna leave it in for a few more minutes. Just because it really can. Okay, there. Just want to turn that up a teensy bit for the last few minutes. And breakfast is done. I think the hardest part with breakfast, any food, any meal you make, is the fact that you have to cook it and prep it. But I mean, it's not bad. It's easy, it's healthy, and that's what matters at the end of the day. There you go, this so you can see the last result. Heaping melts full of leftover French toast for later on. And I'm just waiting for this bacon. I'm going to add it to my bacon lard as well. Should get a container or a dish out for the bacon. Apologize, I'm just coughing a lot the last few days. I think it's the spring weather, you know, the dryness, but not the dryness, but the moss and stuff from I don't even know if moss is even the proper word, but you know, the dampness and the decay from everything from the fall to the spring. So it's just um gets me a little bit. Um, update uh, again, I'm feeling good. The babies are healthy. I'm just tired. I'm getting really bad back pain, so, um, I also notice I have to drink a lot of water, and I mean a lot. Like, this is my cup. This takes four measuring cups of water. You know the little red measuring cups I use? It takes four of those to fill it, and I'm drinking about six of those. So like, that's like 24 cups of water. It's just crazy. Um, or six liters of water, I guess, because four cups is one liter. I don't know. I'm like, and it's throughout the day, throughout the night. Like in the night, I'm drinking two cups. When I wake up in the morning, I'm drinking one of those. And it's just crazy the amount of water I'm going through. And my appetite, 2.30 in the morning again, is when I get my appetite which is good, at least I'm eating sometime during the day. But I mean, it's nice, like I'm gonna eat one of these. Hopefully I can eat two of them. Um, they're not very sugared. I cut the sugar actually in a quarter of what it normally would ask for. Um, so hopefully, it's all good. Okay, let me see the bacon now. Oh yeah, now the bacon is perfect. Okay. There we go. Let me turn off, off. Okay, everything is off. Let me just touch.
stomach even before I got pregnant is the greasiness of bacon. Now you see it's not fully, fully really hard um, or crispy. It's because um, I will be microwaving it after. See, it is enough, but I mean it's not crispy, crispy, but it's enough. Um, and the reason is because I plan to microwave it after, not microwave, but put it in the oven when we make, um, what's it called? Um, uh, English muffins. Let me just open this. the bacon grease to it while the bacon cooks on. Um, one thing I miss about not being in the country anymore is I don't get to render my pork lard. Um, I used to pork lard. I would use it in all my baking. I would use it in so many things. Um, you know, breads, you name it. It was one of the best things I would have. Lots of lard. So if anyone's ever near me and you need bacon lard, let me know. I'll fry up some bacon and give you the lard. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's it. That's what I need. I'm um, frying cabbage up one day this week, so I needed that. Okay. Well, I will post. Let me just move this so I can. Make a dish for me first. I'm still in my semi mode of molds. Let me grab a dish. And I will show you. I'm going to grab two of these. I'm going to grab. If I, if I can even eat this, that will be, ooh, ooh, hope I didn't spill that. Oh, this is if I can eat. I can't definitely eat that much. I can eat one or two slices. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to put this back on top. This back on top. So this is breakfast. I'm like I said. I'm for me. I'm not putting syrup on it, or anything like that, um, because I know I won't be able to stomach it. I don't even know if I can stomach the bacon right now. I'm just gonna cut a piece of this. Mmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm Cinnamon toast crunch. Mmm. Okay. Yum. Cinnamon toast crunch. French toast. Um, I'll post the recipe up with the photo and I will also put this video up for you. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll either see you later tonight or we'll see you tomorrow sometime. Have a wonderful evening. Bless you all. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. Oh, sorry, rest of your Sunday. Oh, pregnancy brain is really getting to me. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a blessed Sunday. Have a wonderful and blessed week ahead of you. We'll see you again shortly. Bye-bye and thank you for watching this video and being part of my channel. Bye-bye.